Hello, I'm Richard Raffham. Uh, I've just turned this Xantheria bowl, uh, something I've not turned for about 40 years. I used to turn a lot of it in the uh, 80s. And uh, yes, came out pretty well. Uh, it was a longer route, uh, and I managed to save the bottom for another piece, and I've saved the inside. Um, so there's clearly a box in there, and uh, that's not something you'll see in this video. In this video, you'll just see this one. I have here a grass tree root, Xanthoria, and uh, I found the centers. The main idea initially is just to get it round. This is a very, very nasty dust, so I'm just going to be uh, having the dust extractor on the whole time. Continental gouge, 15 millimeter flute, which is about five eighths of an inch. I haven't got a very good drive at the, the spur drive because the angle of the uh, quite slinky colours in it. Just do this with a skew chisel. The idea here is to have a, a kind of tall vase shape. Um, I'm not sure I necessarily want all that height, so I might even be able to get two pieces out of this. I've got a foot on that. Uh, I'll have another little bowl in there, so go for that. Now, in order to get there, I need to be able to grip this on the inside in the meantime. All I want up here is a uh, a recess I could expand the jaws into or a little T 
tendon I can grab. I'm going to do this with a uh, square scraper. This is a three quarter inch. And because the tailstock is in the way, or the, the handle on the tailstock, I'm going to bring the rest right up. I go into a chuck. So a little shoulder there that will go into the chuck. True up the uh, piece in the jaws. The next thing is to just need to flatten that. Half inch spindle guard. I can start thinking about my about my actual shape here. I want a bit of a foot. Too much of a foot. Give a short rest so I can get in tight. Another little bowl in there. As always, if I can take a piece straight out of a chuck, I like to do that, and uh, this chuck will take that size of door, so uh, pretty well the diameter in, in about there, so that suits me very well. So working with the uh, 3 8 spindle guard. this with the uh, skew chisel. Actually it would be nice 
nice, I think, to have a slightly curved foot. Uh, good, I'll begin to grab this on a little bead at the top of the foot. stuff for nearly 40 years uh, suddenly went out of fashion to learn worked a lot of it in the mid 80s running at uh, about 1500 Three twenty. loaded with beeswax. Beeswax and a bit of oil now. is going to be gripping just above the bead top of the bead it's the right size for the chuck the chuck will not mark the wood I think 
I might even try taking another piece out of the inside. This time I'm using a slicing tool. take too thin uh, because it breaks very easily it's not really wood it's a, it's a relation to a lily it doesn't have the strength that wood does a slightly longer rest in there so I don't fall off the end rest up a bit so the tools tilt it down when working at center kind of shape so just check where I am
Energy Grid again. So this has ended up 6 inches diameter, 150 millimetres, which is 1150 millimetres tall, which is about 4.5 inches. And I still have the bits I've saved, so that and that uh, all looking rather like a, uh, a potential box. And you'll see that in another video.